What's up guys, it's me Arin here back with another video and this time around we are going to be unboxing the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4 and also we will take a overview of that device and if you want to see a full in-depth review of that smartphone do let me know by posting your comments in the comment section down below and by smashing that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So here's a look at the Indian variant of the Redmi Note 4 and this particular model is with 64GB of internal memory and 4GB of RAM but let's back up a little bit. So this is the box of the Redmi Note 4 and if we take a look around it's a plain and simple box which is white in color and at the front there's nothing except the number 4 as it is the Note 4 and at the left there's written Redmi Note 4 also at the right side also there is written Redmi Note 4 and at the back side of the box the first thing that pops out is the made in India logo and it also got the specification of the phone but we will talk about that later. But first let's open the box and when you open it you get the phone itself and I have put a glass screen protector on it just to keep it safe. But anyway then you get the paperwork of the phone like the phone manual and other papers also you get a sim removal tool. And then you get a charging cable which is black in color and also it's a normal micro USB cable that we today normally use in our smartphones. Too bad the Redmi Note 4 doesn't have a USB type C which is like the future of charging your phone. But anyway then we have the wall adapter of the phone which is also black in color and gives an output of 2 amps and do note that this phone does not comes with the earphones. So that's a thing that we should all know about and hey. We are getting some amazing specs out of this phone with a fairly decent price. Anyway let's now boot this phone up. But let me first tell you about the specification of this phone. So this is an Indian variant as I told you earlier and this comes with a 2GHz octa core snapdragon 625 processor with a adreno 506 GPU. It has a 5.5 inch IPS full HD 1920 by 1080p display. The battery here is 4100 mAh non removable. And the camera that we get at the back is a 13 megapixel f2.0 aperture. And at the front, it has a 5 megapixel f2.0 camera. Also, it has a fingerprint reader at the back beneath the camera, which is super fast. And this phone comes in three colors gray, gold, and black. If you want to see a full in-depth specification of this phone, there's a link in the description box down below. You can head over to that after this video. So now I have booted the phone and did the setup of this phone and the first thing that you notice is the display and I should tell you that it's a pretty good display. It's sharp, it's bright. But now we will see how much storage we get in the phone and do note that I have installed a couple of apps like WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. And if we take a look at the storage, then we got around 56 GB of usable storage out of 64 GB. And the final storage that we get to use is fi around 52 GB. And do note that the Android version that we get off the top of this box is Android 6.0, that is Marshmallow version of Android. And it also comes with the Redmi's MIUI 8. And I'm not really sure if it will get an update to the Android 7.0 soon. And now let's take a look at the camera of this phone. Many people say that the camera on this device is not that good. But let me tell you, it's also not that bad. The images came from this device in the natural sunlight are very good and you can also get a nice shallow depth of field in your photos and in artificial lighting like indoors also there the camera performs good not that much good but I am comparing this phone here with the phones which have much higher price than the Redmi Note 4. The place where the camera lags behind is in the low light. The images that you get in low light are bad there's a lot of noise and all that. And the front camera is good and is pretty wide so that it will help you in that group selfies. And there is a link in the description box down below you can head over to that if you want to see a full resolution photos which are non compressed. And by the way this all will be covered in my full review of this device. So that's about it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed and if you did then make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you comment down below hashtag made in India so that I can know that you have watched till now. 
Anyways guys that was basically it for today and this is Arin Sadiora signing off for now. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye, have a great time.